lacking that trust and awareness factors are still very low and there is a big role that all of us and, and many more people can play in terms of raising that and getting many more people to actually transact online and start buying it. Once th that starts happening, I think uh, that will start figuring out all the businesses that we are into. None of the e-commerce companies, well, they are now starting to figure that out, stand for one particular thing. And the best example that comes to my mind, which is not part of e-tailing, is Indigo Airlines. And I'm sure a lot of people would have experienced this stand for being on time. Today, they are attracting a lot of customers who are traveling on Indigo just because of the fact that at least this guy will make me reach the destination, help me reach my meeting on time. And once that thing starts to happen, if I stand for that, I will get my product delivered next day. Can somebody stand for that? 24 hours and I will give you my product. Then it will tie back to whether I need to carry inventory because that's a business model Then you're talking about. The kind of investment I need to make, the yeah. kind of customer I want to acquire. But am I willing to stand for something and then build my company around that? I do recognize the broadband penetration issues and all of that will only help and continue to grow the market. But if you have a compelling proposition, you have a compelling product or a service, whatever it is that you call it, um, people will go online, they'll find you, uh, they'll find it and they'll come to you online. So that's been, a, uh, that's been our experience over the last time. Look at the cost of doing COD. I don't think COD today, give or take five, seven rupees here or there, COD does not cost you more than that, right? So, so there are two questions. Question number one is that on a cost basis, is it like something which is killing the e-commerce companies? Trust me, there there are many bigger inefficiencies. You know, you get your CACs optimized by five bucks, you can continue to do COD, right? Oh, CACs can there itna bada float hai. So, you know, that's not the reason. The second thing is people say return rates. I personally think return rates will go up further. You are perfectly positioned as a technology provider, media aggregator to kind of drive this as a support function. What is your strategy? How do you look at, you've seen the evolution in the US market, or you've seen it in the Indian market. What are your learnings and how do you intend to, what is your strategy in the middle of They tend to be mass market products, they tend to be um, single product categories, not, um, not, you know, not big e-commerce stores. But uh, for example, there's a company that does, you know, they do things like um, uh, protein, you know, bodybuilding equipment, bodybuilding stuff for, for men. Massive volume, they have change their ad, they do 50 new creative every week, they um, they iterate on the creative, they put them into the ad server, they usually send them to our team in India to, to upload into the ad server because they don't want to do it. But they're continually analyzing, you know, one ad has a guy without a shirt on and his abs shaking a little bit, they find that works. <laughs> Next week they got 10 more of them, you know, and um, one ad is a little bit worth it highlighted in yellow. You might even spend, you know, some of them say you spend thirty-five dollars on customer acquisition. Others say you can spend, you know, one hundred and ten. And they all buy the CPM, and they seem to continually buy. Rarely do they do they get stopped. Rarely do they stop. So I think um, that that must be some opportunity for that um, here, because a lot of them came to display because they said search was not big enough. Search didn't let them scale. And on um, on display, there were users coming to websites every single day. But they're not, you know, those same users are not searching every single day for product buy. So on a newspaper, they're coming every single day. And if you advertise well, you can get them to convert. So that's the most interesting thing I see. I'm not sure how well that can be used here. But I see that the scale they do is pretty impressive. At scale, of course, tools are very important. Uh, and, you know, tools beyond what Google provide. I mean, there are, uh, I think at scale companies for in India, of course using those tools, because they come at a cost, but at scale these costs kind of just marginalize and and uh, they, they tend to kind of give you more control of your campaign. And I uh, am and, and, uh, for them. Uh, but at the same point of time, I fundamentally believe that the overall averages, keep, you know, people start to see search or Google as one unit in their media advertising uh, or, or in their line item of media spends. And the averages don't tell you the right story of all the Google or all the channels which let's say a, 
a company like Google provides. And uh, you know, some of these tools give you those those breakages uh, of uh, all the different channels, and uh, I think that helps you optimize uh, your Google spends a lot because your organic keyword conversion and cost and the CPA is so low that what you get from let's say something like GDN, which is the display, or non-organic keywords is so high. But that, but you know, under the umbrella of averages, you start to see you know what. It's the right chance. It's, it's working fine with me. But if you start to kind of using technology, start to kind of uh, you know see it in a different light or different fashion or separately, then you realize what really works, what doesn't work. Something which is really coming up and which is extremely strong is social media. So the advantage of social media is even though the person might or might not have a good part. But the way that you can do targeting is amazing. So you can actually go and say, I want to target my dad to a person who is 16 years old, is into a relationship, recently broke up, uh, goes to so-and-so school, hears so-and-so dress, like Shah Rukh Khan. You can specify those things. So display is good. It basically helps you in building the brand. It helps you in telling people that what this demand stands for or any company stands for. What the kind of targeting or results that we get from Google or from social media. So all our efforts, even Google Plus to that matter, what it is helping us create is this layer on top of all our products. You know, previously we did not have an understanding of, uh, you know, what are you looking for, whether geographically or location specific, what results should I show you. Slowly we are developing that. It will only help us give you better results, which will help you get a better uh, customers. The customer who will come in will be more focused. Uh, yes, social plays a very critical role. There are certain activities that we do, uh, but we are right now riding more on driving transactions through SEO, through the word of mouth, which has very, so it doesn't have legs there. I mean, it, it travels very slow, right? But we are driving that today. What we've done are certain activities on Facebook that have given us very good traction. But if you look at overall, in terms of understanding social and driving it in the right way, I think there are still a lot of challenges in India. I don't think people really understand it really well and executing well. That's a challenge that we are facing in terms of getting in talent who can manage this really well. Now, these are my views, uh, depending on where I come from today. Uh, when we were in traders and when we were driving that, uh, we were using that very effectively and we were using it uh, with, with a certain amount of budgets, right? Uh, today, where we are at this point of time as a startup in a bootstrapping mode, yes, we do look at that as a strategy. But to execute, we need a lot of resources. What has happened today, you see from the overall social network is everybody is concentrating primarily on the likes. So if I have 1.6 million likes or 1.7 million likes, <coughs> it is actual likes or bot likes, but nobody is actually tilted has gone to the segmentation of those particular likes. Are they actually relevant by geotargeting or they are actually relevant by my particular TG or it is only because of a chain reaction that has happened. Due to which happened is at least, at least on an average, I've, I've gone through one of the research, it says 54% of the likes are primarily not in the TG that you actually require for. We did a small activity and we still have hardly about 700 fans on our uh, Facebook. Uh, we did something like a blush, what's your blush moment? Yeah. So we tried explaining what would that mean, right? It could be for the first time when you held your uh, boyfriend's hand, first time when you kissed or when you went on a date. We suddenly saw the engagement, even though we had just about 200-300 fans then, which we did about two months back. We saw the, the, the curve going up like this.